Hey everybody, how you doing out there? Just doing a video about something and something, you know. Uh, this something is definitely something. Uh, these guys are talking about mixing consoles. Uh, the console, they say the subtitle, is just a, a console due to its mixing capability. Uh, in terms of audio. Uh, no visual, it's just audio portion. Um, uh, there's, o there's always going to be the visuals. The visuals can be doing other things, but the audio is always better. We can improve the audio. We don't necessarily need to pr uh, prove the video. The video uh, is already approved. Uh, the uh, audio needs to be improved. Sometimes in different ways, in different ways. Uh, people call it mastery. And the word they tend to use is mastery. I'm not trying to follow what they say out there in the world. Mastering is good if you will need to do it. Um, or they'll say, okay, we need to remaster the album. Uh, back in the day. But, uh, th that album sounded awful. It was a mono. We need to put it in stereo. That's called mastering it. Uh, just could, just do, do a little tweaking. But sometimes they'll call it, I call it in the early days, called tweaking it. Uh, just improve the audio just slightly, just slightly. Not too much, but slightly. Uh, to, it, uh, to the human ear, that'd be beautiful. That would be like uh, your beautiful violins, as I like to say. Um, uh, it's like that beautiful, that beautiful. You got that, you got the mix going, you got the audio going perfectly. Uh, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like uh, ingredients to a uh, cake. You got the right ingredients, you got the right mix, you got the, uh, uh, but mastering is what they call it sometimes in the industry. Uh, sometimes they'll do the original recordings. Original recordings means off the, uh, uh, the real, the real, uh, you'll see them in big recording studios, big real, the real, uh, tapes. These are tapes, not cassette tapes, but big major tapes, like the big size ones. And, uh, they're from the original recordings of albums, original recordings. That's the master recordings. Uh, they don't leave the studios. Uh, according to a lot of, uh, sound engineers, they don't leave the studios. I've heard this through a lot of recording studio people. Uh, that they don't leave the studio. The master recording, when they get the album, they'll leave the studio because it's expensive and you, you, uh, not everybody in the world has uh, a big reel-to-reel -reel recording device. Uh, how do you say it? A recording the studio thing. Uh, but these are not like your average cassettes. They're like your reel-to-reel -reel audio uh, tapes. And uh, you'll see them in music studios and sometimes in music videos. And they're very expensive, I was told once. Um, just these are master recordings of albums from the original mass tapes. They call them tapes. Uh, when they did the albums, they have a master recording of it. And usually they, it keeps, it basically it keeps in the studio. It doesn't leave the studio because it's a master recording. And it's very expensive and you probably can't get this machine to play it on. Uh, not the industry has this sort of machine to play it on. Only the uh, big and huge major recording studios have these things. Uh, and they need this. They need this for recording albums. Recording the big albums you see in the stores. And, uh, and they work with a lot of artists out there. And uh, a lot of artists, it goes from A to Z. Uh, from the big major artists like U2 to Brynams to all these uh, big huge artists out there. And they go to big major recording studios, big, big major store the uh, size of any room, uh, size of anybody's room around the world. And, uh, and they record an album, they record an album for the public out there. And, uh, yeah. and sometimes it, uh, uh, sometimes the recording comes out good, sometimes the, usually they call it the uh, final mix, they call it the final mix. That means it goes right to the album, the final mix. And, uh, yeah, the hard, uh, hard hard work pays, uh, as they say, pays dividends. It pays uh, really good. Uh, these are engineers, these are sound engineers out there when we record your album. And, uh, yeah, it makes it, makes it good uh, for the public out there to buy your album, basically. Yeah. And they can't, they can't really buy the original master recorded tape. Uh, big major, so not cassette. They don't have them in cassettes, and they have the big real, real uh, tapes. And those are the master recordings. And uh, I've said this in the past. And uh, they keep it keeps the master recordings in the studio. They don't leave the studio because uh, those are 
whenever they need to use it in the near future. You know, in the near future, uh, if they were to do a special edition album uh, and add more stuff to the album that was left off the album, basically, uh, that they couldn't put on the album for many reasons. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, artists out there tend to do that. They make tons of songs, and not all songs get to the albums. Uh, others either shelved, they shelved them, and uh, for the future, for the next 30 years in the future, then they'll figure out where, if, if they put on a special edition album or a uh, 25th anniversary album. And sometimes they'll find old oldies, like old songs that haven't been heard, uh, haven't been uh, seen on other albums. And uh, uh, there you go, folks. So there you go. So these guys, two guys we hear in the background are talking about mixing consoles, like studio recording consoles. Uh, it could be enormous in size. Enormous is the size. I'm talking about size-wise. Uh, enormous in size, or it could be very small. It doesn't have to be as humongous recording uh, console. As long as it does, as long as it has many inputs to to use it, what you need to use it for, basically. Um, if you want 64 inputs, you get 64 inputs. It's basically how many inputs do you want to the set. And uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. It's, it's, it's just, it's a channel strip. It's a channel strip. Just remember, uh, it's always a channel strip.